today we're going to get up and running with deposits. I'll show you how to configure your deposits policy, take a deposit when a client books online, and then finally how to take the balance payment when checking the client out when they show up for their appointment. So to get started, we'll start with appointments and we'll navigate down to settings and then payments and cancellations. Here at the top, you'll be able to go ahead and select what payment policy you want to apply. We've added deposit, so I'll go ahead and select this and then advance to the next screen. Here, I can decide to either charge a percentage or a fixed amount on each service booked. I'll go ahead and I'll leave that at 25% for now. And I'll add a custom deposits policy, just stating that deposits are non-refundable. I'll go ahead and click Save, and that's it. Once I've saved this, my deposits policy is now live for anybody booking me online. And let's go ahead and see what my clients will see on my booking site. So let's say I'm a customer wanting to book with my own business. And let's say I want to book a haircut. I'll select that service, the staff member I want to book with, and then go ahead and select a time. I'll find something later this week. And then I'll be presented at checkout with a deposit requirement. It clearly states that a 25% deposit is required. I'll go ahead and select a card I have on file and agree to the cancellation policy. And then on the right-hand side, here again, we've confirmed the amount that's due today and the amount that will be due at the appointment. And as a customer, all I have to do is click book appointment, a card will be charged, and the appointment will be booked. Great, so let's jump back to the calendar and see what that looks like on your calendar view. Here we can see the confirmed appointment that's come in. So let's say Omar shows up and we want to go check him out after the appointment. We can clearly see at the top of the appointment summary blade that a $30 deposit has already been paid and the remaining balance due is 90. So we'll go ahead and hit take payment. Here we'll be given an option to add a tip. Let's go ahead and add a 20% tip that Omar's agreed to. And this will show the remaining balance. We can use a customer's card on file and then just hit charge card. And that's it. We've fully charged the card for the balance payment and we're all set. Thank you.